Hello and welcome to the Wargame Explorer. My name is Robison Wells. Today I want to talk about two products that I have used recently um, that I had heard great things about and one of which turned out to be really good and one of which I really, really hated. Um, so for starters, um, I want to get into weathering and I'm doing this on purpose because um, all of my Space Marines in the past, and I love Space Marines, I, I know there are a lot of people who are like, boo, Space Marines are generic, but I love Space Marines. And I think it's because I'm not that great of a painter, and I love big, chonky Primaris boys that are easy to paint. Um, and anything that can make things easier to paint for me is a good thing. Um, I have tremors in my hands, and that's one of the reasons that I... I mean, I've been painting for 30 years, um, and I've gotten significantly better over 30 years, but uh, I still struggle a lot with my painting, especially edge highlighting, that kind of thing. Um, so anything that can make painting look better. And I am 100% invested in the Horus Heresy that's coming out. I already have talked to my friendly local game store, and I have it on pre-order as soon as they know how much it's going to cost. And I'm excited for it, but I want to have, I want to go grimdark. I want to weather them. Um, you will have seen my Horus Heresy painter roundup uh, post on my website. I will link to it in the doobly-doo below. And um, it, it interviews four painters who all paint Horus Heresy, and talks about their style, and one of them in particular, Spen's painting, does this grimdark style that I absolutely love. Um, very grungy, very dirty, and I've played with it a little bit in the past, but never more than just washes and some weather, some pigment powders. So anyway, the two products that I wanted to talk about are first... Um, streaking grime, uh, and second, um, dirty down rust. So I have been reluctant in the past to use AK Interactive streaking grime, and the reason for that is for I have issues with the company. I don't like AK Interactive. Um, because of past business practices. If you want to hear more about that, you can watch this video that I will put up at the top. Um, suffice it to say that they have done some pretty questionable things uh, in the past regarding uh, kind of ethical treatment of wargaming um, historicalness. Um, I don't like AK Interactive. So I've always heard about Streaking Grime. I like the idea of Streaking Grime. Um, but I didn't want to buy it because I didn't want to support AK Interactive. Anyway, my friendly local game store said, we've got this new product in. It's called Dirty Down Rust. They had Dirty Down Rust, Dirty Down Verdigree, and Dirty Down um, Moss. And I didn't know anything about these products, but I was like, well, if I can get a rust effect and a verdigree effect... Um, and I don't have to pay AK Interactive anything, then I am going to try it. So I bought a can of spray paint, and I bought um, this bottle of, of Dirty Down Rust, and this bottle of Verdigree, and you can see these are small bottles. They're 25 milliliters each, um, which is one milliliter larger than a Games Workshop uh, wash. These are 24 milliliters. These cost eight dollars. Um, but I got a can of spray paint and I got two of these. I got these two bottles. Went up to, to the cash register. 62 frigging dollars to buy this. Each one of these, I didn't get the exact price on them, um, but each one of these is like 22, 23 dollars. Um, and I thought that the washes from Citadel were expensive at eight dollars for 24 milliliters, but this is 22 dollars for for 25 milliliters. So these had better be magic. Anyway, I 
got him home and I decided to paint up a batch of ultramarines. And I did ultramarines on purpose because I wanted to be as generic and as basic and I wanted to include decals. Um, and I only had ultramarine decals and I had some Horus Heresy Salamander decals. Um, but those are the only Space Marine decals that I had. So I wanted to paint some Space Marines and I did this and I will show close-ups on uh, the screen right here. Um, so this is what they ended up looking like. First off, uh, they I painted them up to the best standard that I could um, of just regular Space Marines. Uh, I mean, not best standard that I could, but the best standard that I could in a couple of hours. Um, painted them up, did some good edge highlighting, did some, uh, just pa tried to paint everything pretty well. I applied the Dirty Down Rust, and I applied the Verdigree to the Chest Aquilas, um, and I really wasn't too happy. You can see from the picture, they don't look rusty. They look um, like they've been splashed with brown ink, and uh, they just look kind of dirty, and granted, I'm looking for dirty, that's obviously one of the points of this, but they just look like it looked like brown ink, and I was really unhappy with them. I did this whole squad of of uh, of tw of five. Sorry, I did a whole squad of five, and they really just weren't very good. And oh well, there they go. Um, and I was frustrated. So I well I based them as you can see from the picture I based them with Vallejo texture paste and I used um, some weathering uh, pigment powders Vallejo pigment powders um, which I like pigment powder is just fine and I've used those in the past um, but so I thought I am going to research this dirty down stuff because I I saw online that other people had used it and they had liked it. So I thought, let me watch some tutorials and figure out um, what is wrong with what I did. Why did I get these wrong? One of the things I learned is that they need to be warm. So I got a bowl of water and I put the warm water, not hot water, just warm water. Um, I put the bottle of Dirty Down Rust into the hot water. Um, I shook the bottle like crazy. And then I got some Space Marines, and I didn't I didn't bother with decals with these ones, but you can see the picture. This is what they look like first. They are silver. Um, I think it's Iron, Iron Hand Steel or Iron Warriors. I get the two of them mixed up. Um, and um, some uh, probably Balthazar gold. No, Screaming Bell is the is the gold. So I I thought if I just do metallics, then the metallics will look good rusty and the the screaming bell will look good with the verdigree so i followed every instruction i went to dirty downs website and they have a whole list of instructions probably because they know that it's a difficult product to work with is my hunch is probably because they've got some bad reviews um so they have a whole list of how to do it i followed the list to the letter they still look like they've been hit with brown ink and the verdigree looks like it doesn't look anything different from Bieltan green from the um the games workshop green wash it is just um bland uh and you can see in the picture i added some weathering powder i i went pretty liberally over these guys with the rust i i did two or three coats of the rust um, hoping that that would help. I mean, I did one coat. I waited for it to dry when it didn't look good. I'm like, well, let me try again with some more. And I tried again with some more. It never, I never got the rust effect that I kept seeing in these other videos. Um, so I did a third squad, um, in a last ditch attempt. Uh, and I was frustrated at this point. I was pretty pissed off because I had just spent 10 Space Marines, and um, I wasn't getting... And granted, 
why didn't I do one test marine? Because I'm a dummy and I like to do five. Um, I wanted to try it again. So I thought, let's do a bright color. And I did these Lamenters. And they turned out pretty well for Shaky Hands Rob, who can't paint anything. Managed to get the little heart in there. Managed to do the checker pattern. And then I applied the Dirty Down Rust. And I applied it and it didn't look good. It looked like crap. So I applied more of it and eventually I just slathered them all with it and hoping to get something and it looked like garbage. So much so, and I was so frustrated at this point that I just threw these five assault assessor intercessors away because um, they, they were crusty. Like, I couldn't paint over them. Um, I guess, I, I don't know the chemistry of Dirty Down Rust. I don't know whether if I was less frustrated, I would have tried to strip them. But I am not precious with my models. Um, they're my models. I bought them. And if I throw five of them directly in the trash, because I cannot stand Dirty Down Rust, um... That is what I'm going to do. And so that's what I did. And then I immediately ordered uh, AK Interactive Streaking Grime, um, which I got these three bottles of AK Interactive Streaking Grime. Yes, I compromised my values about the stupid company, um, but it came with Streaking Grime, it came with Rust Streaks, and it came with Winter Streaking Grime, which I haven't tried yet, I don't know what the difference is between streaking grime and winter streaking grime. Um, but the three bottles of these, which are how many milliliters each? 35 milliliters each compared to 25 millimeters, milliliters each. Um, so that's 105 milliliters of AK Interactive stuff for $22 compared to one stupid bottle of Dirty Down Rust also for $22. So this was better anyway. Then I decided to paint up some uh, Stormcast Eternals. Um, and again, I did them in blue, kind of trying to replicate the uh, ultramarine look. Applied the AK Interactive Streaking Grime, which I've heard about forever, and everyone has said that it's good. And it looks so much better, as you can see in these pictures. It looks so good compared to stupid, dirty down rust. Um, now, Streaking Grime is not exclusive to AK Interactive. If I stuck to my guns, I would have bought MIG Streaking Grime. Um, they make a Streaking Grime also. Um, and I've heard that it is just as good. As a matter of fact, it is what uh, Spencer from Spence Painting uses is MIG Streaking Grime. Um, it wasn't available on Amazon, and that's why I didn't buy it. Um, but anyway, the moral of this story is uh, I've really had a bad experience with Dirty Down Rust. I don't know what I did wrong. I tried to do everything right. I tried to give every chance I could to the product. And it is garbage. And so this is my warning to you. Maybe something good will happen if you use it. I have watched videos and seen people do exactly what I did. And they got it to work. And for some reason, I couldn't. Um, maybe I got a bad batch. But both the Verdigree and the Streaky Crime were both bad. I'm glad I didn't spend 22 freaking dollars on Moss. Um, anyway, moral of the story, Dirty Down Rust, not worth the money. Um, AK Interactive Streaking Grime is worth the money. That is my product review, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.